So good morning boys, hope you are all doing great. For today's class, we will be discussing on factors influencing educational attainment, mainly for different social classes. Donc, qui fait certaines classes sociales, surtout ben upper class et ben middle class, se travaille plus bien à l'école comparé avec la classe ouvrière, ça veut dire working class family. So we have uh, two explanations for this. We have material factors and we have cultural factors which influence the educational achievement of different social classes. So first we will focus on material deprivation. So what is material deprivation? Ça veut dire privation en termes des matériaux scolaires. So it is simply certain home factors in terms of the living standards of children, which prevent them from achieving at school. C'est tout simplement le niveau de vie de ses enfants qui affecte comment ils peuvent travailler à l'école, donc comment ce performance éducative peut être à l'école. So when we consider material deprivation, it is mostly about children living in poverty. They are disadvantaged in the sense that, firstly, many children living in poverty, they do not have a proper place to study because it may be that their house is small or overcrowded. So for a child to perform well, it is very important for him or her to have a quiet place to study. So only middle class and upper class children have this opportunity. So this is why one of the reasons why working class children tend to underachieve at school. Secondly, children affected by poverty, they do not have the, the, the ability to consume, they do not have the mean to buy a proper diet before going to school. So even during school hours, they do not, they cannot concentrate in class due to the lack of tiredness and also vitamins. So meaning that if they do not have the mean, their parents do not, do not have the mean to buy proper uh, things to eat, meaning that they have poor diet and also they do not have the ability to buy certain things such as vitamins which is going to boost their concentration in class and during their studying time at home also so even though education is free yet we have the hidden cost of free schooling so parents have to buy uniform art equipments design equipments etc so many parents cannot afford such additional cost of schooling. There is also the lack of ability to afford additional educational resources, such as uh, educational books, computers, or internet for research work. So this tends to affect the working class student educational achievement. Other home factors of the working class families, which is related to educational achievement are due to financial difficulty, certain students feel obliged to take part-time job. And this tend to affect their educational performance since they cannot devote all their time to education. Donc, il y a même par an, le fait qu'ils peuvent faire face de même problème financier et ne and pas so comment the enfants capable et de se de take a part time job mais il se peut que sa part time job là lui affecte les enfants la super performance à l'école parce que il pas peut consacrer tout ce les temps dans ce l'étude okay so also since certain par parents cannot afford to send their children to university the children the child is demotivated and therefore limit their ambition at school Donc, et nos belles parents, dès au commencement, je finis avec ces autres enfants qui se peinent en moyens financiers pour avoir ces autres enfants à l'université. Donc, en façon, si au commencement, les enfants, tu peux, tu peux travailler vraiment très bien, ce aim, c'était pour aller à l'université, mais le fait qu'ils se parent, ils finissent d'y aller, ils peinent le moyen, ça, ils vraiment démotive les enfants pour travailler à l'école. Donc, les enfants-là, à ce point, 
les capable les même ce performance affecté à l'école. So other than material factors, we have cultural factors. That is, we have cultural deprivation. Cultural deprivation explains why working class working class students tend to perform less well at school. So cultural deprivation explains that working class tend to have inferior norms, values, skills and knowledge which prevent them from performing well at school. Donc, quand nous parlons de cultural deprivation, c'est surtout de l'application à, à working class subculture. The working class subculture, ben, parents ont inculqué certaines inferior norms, values, skills and knowledge to the child. Et elle a les affecté les enfants à ce performance à l'école. So part of the cultural deprivation theory, we have the parental attitude, which influence working class students' educational performance. Donc, ce qui font partie de cultural deprivation, premier d'abord, nous avons une attitude des parents, surtout des working class parents. Comment est-ce qu'ils ont fait sur le penser, cette attitude qui influence les enfants, leur performance académique à l'école? So according to the cultural deprivation theory, the failure of the working class is because of the working class families themselves. Since the working class parents teach their children certain norms which do not value the importance of education. Premier d'abord, si un enfant n'est pas travaille bien à l'école, surtout de working class family, si les enfants peuvent faire à l'école, c'est tout simplement, c'est ce parent et surtout ce parent qui a blâmé. Okay? C'est parce qu'il se peut qu'il parle la même, lui montrer ses enfants que l'éducation n'a aucune valeur. Donc, les enfants-là, ils déjà et dans sa façon de penser là, dès au commencement. Ok, so they think that education is not necessary or simply not for people like them. Next, we have language, which can impact on the educational performance of the working class children. So this is a theory by Basil Bernstein, and he described two types of language code. So we have the restricted code and we have the elaborated code. So when talking about the restricted code, it is a language code with limited vocabulary and also a short, unfinished and grammatically incorrect sentences. And this type of language is mostly used by the working class. So on the other hand, we have the elaborated code. When talking about the elaborated code, it is simply sentences with wider vocabulary longer grammatical correct and more complex sentences which is mostly used by the middle class and upper class. So elaborated code is mostly used at school by teachers in textbooks and exams and therefore the working class children have the difficulty to adapt to the elaborated code, code and therefore this affects negatively on their educational performance. Donc, according to Basil Bernstein, we have two types of language. We have elaborated code and we have restricted code. So, restricted code is mainly used by the working class children. C'est tout simplement ben langage que te phrase pas vraiment élaboré, que te ben ne veut pas vraiment conjugué, et aussi ce type de langage là, which is mostly used among friends and families. Okay? Mais nous avons elaborated code qui ben working ben middle class sorry middle class children and upper class children tend to make use of more often. Okay, so this type of language is uh, mainly uh, very well developed sentences, which uh, is uh, mostly uh, with wider vocabulary and is uh, longer grammatically correct. So this type of language is mostly used by teachers at School. And also it is found in books and we tend to apply it during exams also. Donc c'est pour cela que les ben working class ont bien beaucoup de difficultés pour adapter à Elaborated Code parce que c'est un langage qui n'est pas vraiment servi à la maison. Mais ils ont servi dans, dans place, ils servi Restricted Code. Donc ça les affecte vraiment les performances académiques à l'école. Next, we have the immediate gratification and deferred gratification. 
So working class parents are less ambitious for their children and they took less interest in their children's education. Thus, as a result, the children feel less motivated to work at school. And also due to economic pressure, certain working class children leave school at the earliest in order to get low paid jobs. And this is known as immediate gratification. Donc, immediate gratification, as the word, as the uh, the word itself is saying to you, is telling you, is immediate. Okay, immediately. Donc, when working class children, they look at the earliest opportunity to leave school in order to, to take a paid job. Why taking a paid job at the earliest? C'est tout simplement parce que leur gens ont gain salary. So with this salary, they will help their parent. Mais par contre, ben, middle class and upper class, they take up for deferred gratification, which is, which is also known as delayed gratification. So on the other hand, middle class students will prefer to extend their education in order to get higher qualification and then get higher paid occupation. And this is known as delayed or deferred gratification. Donc, mes parents de ben uh, middle class et upper class encouragent ces enfants pour rester un système d'éducation plus long possible. Ça veut dire encourage à présent voilà sur l'étude secondaire encourage les enfants à tertiary education. Why by delaying the reward afterward? Ça veut dire du moment qu'il n'y a pas une qualification, il n'y a plus beaucoup de qualification. Ça veut dire pour après s'il ne veut pas un travail en termes de la paye, il faut beaucoup plus. Une base de paie pour un degré, c'est à partir de 20 000 à monter. C'est pour cela que vous encouragez les enfants to take up more education afterward. And also, the working class subculture believe in fatalism. Fatalism means a belief in fate and destiny. And therefore, they believe they cannot do anything to change their status. So, then working class subculture, they believe low fatalism. Fatalism, c'est quoi? C'est tout simplement de accepter cette situation pour moi. Instead of improving the situation. Ça veut dire, si je peux vivre dans la pauvreté, je peux accepter ça. Et ça veut dire, je peux inculquer même par son de penser à ce genre. Si je peux vivre dans la pauvreté, dans la pauvreté je peux dire, je peux accepter cette situation pour moi. Et je ne suis pas pour capable de faire quelque chose pour ça. Ok? So, another reason why working class children perform less well at school is because of cultural capital. Cultural capital simply is the skills and knowledge which give an individual an, an advantage in their social life. And cultural capital is related to habitus, which means each social class has a set of norms and values which they adopt. Habitus also influence the leisure activities of different social classes. For example, where they will go for holiday, which places they will visit, what books they will read and the activities which middle class and upper class tend to adopt provide their children with cultural capital which help them to perform well at school. Donc, en termes de cultural capital, c'est tout simplement certain knowledge avec certain skills qui en sont pour pour aider qui pour aider dans ce l'étude pour apprendre. Par exemple, ben middle class avec ben upper class, quand, quand nous causons les leisure activities, par exemple, during school holidays, so we can visit a museum, or we can watch children watch documentaries, or we can encourage children to play a classical instrument, or they will be going abroad for holiday. So all these things tend to help in their education. For example, when a parent can encourage children to go to the side of the mountain. Ok, fait que moi dit du moment où on une fini de volcano, il fait déjà une notion concernant le volcano. Du moment où on aller à l'école, quand ce, ce professeur pour faire le volcano, nous avons déjà une un knowledge par rapport à volcano. Donc c'est sa cultural capital. Nous avons déjà une sa cultural capital là. Mais par contre, ben working class est une le cultural capital et ça affecte the educational performance negatively at school. Ok? 
OK? Donc, ça, c'était en gros par rapport à how certain factors at home tend to influence the educational achievement of certain social classes. Why working class tend to underachieve at school compared to middle class and upper class.